Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and a happy Saturday to everyone who are watching this video. So in this video, I am going to show you guys on how to brute force a password attack on a system using dictionary method with Kali Linux. Alright, and, uh, and a disclaimer before I start the demonstration is that this video is for educational purposes only and uh, please do not misuse the knowledge transferred here for any illegal purpose and this video might be useful for any aspiring certified ethical hacker or a rookie penetration tester and this is what I wanted to just share uh, an insight before I start the demonstration and uh, the first and uh, foremost thing is we need to understand what are the prerequisites to emulate this kind of a brute force uh, password attack on a system okay and the prerequisites are so you need to first have Kali Linux virtual machine installed on your host machine which may be your laptop or if you're using a desktop that would be fine and then any Windows based virtual machine has to be installed on a hosting platform like VirtualBox from Oracle or uh, VMware Workstation Pro uh, virtualization platform All right and the third and last thing is you need to build a word list that contains a bunch of passwords that you think it may be the one that is going to help you uh, carry out brute force attack successfully that should be in a text format that we would be using to emulate a mock brute force password attack right and again I uh, just wanted to convey that this video is just for educational purposes only please do not use this knowledge transferred here for any illegal use okay and again I would also continue to add that this video may be useful for any aspiring certified ethical hacker aiming to become a certified uh, ethical hacker and also a rookie penetration tester who wants to uh, get into cyber security under uh, penetration testing um, scheme of things okay and uh, so let's begin so all you have to do is first let me launch my Kali Linux virtual machine I will press the start button to launch the Kali Linux terminal or launch uh, Kali Linux virtual session Okay, it's going to start and uh, there is a just small bit of info that I want to give so the target host which you are trying to uh, carry out the attack on it it should be connected to your local area network that is it should be connected within the same um, home network or LAN network whatever you want to call if you attempt this on a wide area network it would mostly fail okay so this sort of attack is quite obsolete now okay um, so there are more advanced attacks that happens in more recent times if you are uh, into cyber security and if you are already working as a cyber security professional you would know that there are more advanced attacks but this is a very basic attack that attackers use in recent times okay and uh, so I mean this is a building block I would say to, for you to learn more advanced stuffs, this is the basic thing that you need to know okay as a cyber security expert or as a penetration tester or you can be a certified ethical hacker in the form of a white hat this will be the most basic attack to learn okay and master so first I will put in my root password root and then I will put put in my password I'll punch in my password and log in alright and then at the same time so concomitantly I have opened my other hosting platform that is VMware Workstation Pro okay, where I have three operating system virtual machines installed one is a Windows XP professional, one is Windows 7 x 64 bit one and then one is uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux so in for this particular mock attack I am going to use Windows 7 x 64 machine 
as that is more vulnerable for a password attack okay and I will have firewall disabled on the uh, target host machine to help you explain how the whole procedure works okay and so that's all the setup that is already in place I will just open it I will again start this virtual machine Windows 7 virtual machine and just wait for it to launch I will say OK to this again what I was telling is your virtual machine that you are going to use as a target it needs to be connected to local area network that is the bridge network okay within the virtual machine okay what I am telling I will just show you now I'm just going to click on the virtual machine option here All right for example here you s you can see VM just click on it then you will just need to go to settings alright once you do that you need to wait for some time and then you will have this network adapter which is bridged automatic okay usually it will be in LAN sorry in um, NAC mode network address translation NAT mode you need to this one here it will be this is the default I think you just need to change to bridge and check this option replicate physical network connection state all right and then you will hit OK okay F I have already done it since uh, in the past so I, I no need to change it just now just wanted to show you what you have to do as a prerequisite okay and same goes to Kali Linux box as well you need to make sure that it is uh, in the bridge node okay I will just select devices and then I will press network and I will just go to network settings just to show you I'm doing this and then you will select bridged adapter here okay which is by default enabled for me since I have changed it before okay and then that's it you are ready to go and the remaining part of the procedure I am going to post it on another channel of mine okay which is in the form of cyber security guide that's my ch another channel name so which I have recently opened so which I'm going to dedicatedly use for posting all these cyber security related content videos okay so rest of the cha uh, rest of the procedure I will be demonstrating over there in that channel I will post the link on the description box below please do check out and uh, we'll meet in the next video okay from that particular channel of mine the second channel of me, mine okay and uh, for now we'll meet in the next video until then see you tada